Brian Alley Show. Uh, am I the weirdo here? Before you answer, yes, you're the weirdo here. I just want to defend myself for just a moment because of something that I attempted to do while I was back on the East Coast over the weekend. And it got shut down rather quickly, and I don't understand why. And I'm being told by my wife that I'm weird for even this request. What was the request? So when we were back east and, and staying in New York City, her parents have an apartment in New York City. And we stayed in her parents' apartment. Oh. So we stayed in, because it was bigger, they that we put they were in a hotel, they moved to a hotel, we took over their apartment because I had my kids and we needed a little space and the hotels in New York City are smaller than Jake's apartment. They're like 100 square feet. And, and it's like $500 a night yeah, for 100 square feet. It's crazy. And it's it's just impossible to even have one person there, let alone four people. So we said, okay, would you guys be okay if we put you in a hotel and we took over your apartment? They said, fine, no problem. So we get to the apartment and I am staying, you know, we are staying in her parents' bed and my kids are staying in the, you know, living room, which is also the size of a shoebox. All small, but separate rooms. That's weird that you're sleeping in their bed. Why is that? That's not the question, even. That was the, where else are we going to sleep? We have no other, there's no I other. Just, I just wouldn't, I would not even feel comfortable sleeping in my mother's bed. Really? Yes, because I'm sleeping in a place where sex is happening and there's love. I don't think that I don't want that. I don't want to sleep on that. But it's funny. The kind is, haven't you made out with your mother-in-law? Uh, first of all. <laughs> huh? Don't you so, French kiss every time is, you guys see each other? Is so, that is so... You're saying something. No that wonder is, you wanted to stay with the in laws You're saying something, yeah. Omar, that is true, but also we'll put very. Put the dad up in a hotel. It's not true. <laughs> she, you know, a couple of times when we do like the goodbye and the hello, kiss and hug, uh -huh. it, the lips touch because she. And uh, she I, slips it in. She doesn't slip it in. No, one time I didn't realize she was going to go for the lip kiss, and my mouth happened to have been open because I thought we were just doing a hug, and I was chewing gum or something, and then it ended up being her lips kiss my open mouth almost mm -hmm. directly. One time, but like. The, she oh, does. I'm sure she's riding on that one time. She's not, trust me, she's not. <laughs> she thinks about it all the time. But but the real question I have here is on um, Saturday night when we were you know back at the apartment, the kids were asleep. They were in the living room, and I started to uh, kind of make an initiation move for my wife to start having sex. And she said, "What are you doing?" And I said, "Well, thought we could uh, you know." And they're in the living room, and you're in the other... Yeah, but there's a door, Allie. There's a, sh a closed door. A Might sealed... I point out, last time you tried to do this, there was no door. And you were in a hotel where the bed was literally next to yours, and you had not, no problem initiating not, sex then either. Not next to. There was a divide. There was like a... What, a, a tiny a, lamp? There was a, a lamp that divided the beds, <laughs> and I assume that was enough. And, and they were sleeping, and they're uh, deep sleepers. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I, that time, my parents thought that, too, and she, I was not. She shut that down, too, by by the way, she shut that down. But Rightly this time, so. she said, she looked at me and she goes, why are you being so weird? I said, what are you talking about? She's like, it's my parents' bed. And yeah. I said, yeah, it's a bed. It, it, it's a it's a bed. That No. And I would said, never in a million years, especially my in-laws, that would make it even worse. Really? Yes. I would have a better, uh, I would be more likely to do it in my parents' bed than in my in-laws' bed. I don't want to think about them I don't want to think about sex even near that room or that bed or even picturing them sleeping and their genitals all over the bed. Blah, no. Oh, I wasn't thinking about any of those things. I, I know, mean, but how can you not think about any of that? It's easily. all I would think about. Yeah, I can compartmentalize. I'm very good at that. Like I can. I think most guys are. Yeah, like I, it wouldn't Ugh. matter if it was. It, to be honest, I don't think it would have mattered to me if they were in the bed. No. I, I could have <laughs> tuned that up. <laughs> I, I, Come yeah. on, Eric, give me a hug. <laughs> I, I, I just, and she like said she like looked at me like she thought I was crazy like almost like a look of disgust. What, yes, are you serious? It's disgusting. It's she was like it's my parents' bed. I go, yeah, but they're not here, so it's just at unfortunately this, at this moment it's just a bed. It's just a bed that they happen to sleep in. I know, but it has their smell on it, yeah, and no, it has like. No. Well, also, Klein has that weird kink where he likes to no. have sex while his parents are at home. That's not oh, a kink. Oh, that's right. It's not you a see? kink. And, no, and everyone understands what I'm talking about except you guys. That, that sometimes when you're back in your childhood home again, it's exciting. You want to score in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> while your mom can hear. With a cool chick. No, it's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting because it's like back sneaking around like it used to be back in the day. That's yeah. all I'm saying. You're not having sex with a pinup on your wall as right. a person. All right, well, whatever. She <laughs> makes it sound like I'm the weird one. It I, is weird. I think it's extremely weird, and I don't know how you would be able to just put that out of your mind. It's all I would think about. I wouldn't be able to get that out of my 
head and actually enjoy sex in any way. Yeah, well. There are a lot of scenarios, though. I can't even have sex with my mom in the house or in the same house as my mom. What if they gave you the mattress? Would you have sex on it then? Yeah, well, it was a hand-me-down mattress. Was it hand-me-down from one of my mother's previous marriages? Probably. Then no. Seriously? Just current It'd be marriage? too messy? I don't even like to <laughs> have Crime sex in a scene. bed that's like a communal family. Like, you know, my family's had this cabin in Tahoe for many, many years. And there have been generations of people having sex on that bed. And I don't have sex on that bed either. Let me ask you a serious question then. Because right now you're saying, I'm going to prove that you have a double standard here. When you were growing up uh, on your couch at, at your house where your mom sat and watched TV shows. That's just watching TV shows. That's a, that's a, that's not a sex. Farts, though. She never fell asleep on that couch? <laughs> she never... It's not about her sleeping. It's about her having sex. She, how do you know she didn't have sex on the same couch? I. That's not... Get your mom on oh, the phone. Yeah, I bet you totally. she did. I bet your mom's 100%. had se- your mom has had sex on every couch your mom was no. on as a pull-off couch. No, no, it's I bet not. it is. Oh, I bet it is. I'm not calling my mom and asking her if she's had sex on our couches. So I'm just saying, if that's your th- reasoning that it's weird because you don't want to ever have sex at the same place your parents, the bed had sex, is the sex place. Mm, I don't think so. At least that's at the association. <laughs> <laughs> not at Jake's house. It's not. That's just a bed at Jake's <laughs> house, huh? Line <laughs> Alley Show. Mornings on K Rock. One hundred six point seven K R O Q. Sometimes we have a brand new theme song to share with you as well, and here we go. Alley hates fried chicken and Hispanics oh too. Oh my God! Let's find out if she really knows the news. Racist nice. Alley. Can uh, we let this die? I don't like that storyline. I don't know. I don't. I and don't you know, somebody's going to hear this out of context. <laughs> why are you perpetuating it then? <laughs> hey, Allie, why are you perpetuating this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. Like, I don't like it, but I also have 10 sounds of it that I'm going to play on repeat. I like it. And then I'm going to play every call and every goat line thing about it. Well, listen, but I don't like it either. I don't stand for it. I don't like it. The people leave You mess- love it. <laughs> the people You leave- think it's super funny, and then somebody out of context is going to hear it, and we're all going to get canceled and fired. Great. Well, it's probably going to happen anyway, so you know, at least we'll have a reason. At least we can blame you That's for it. That's not a reason. It's not true. Hey, One-Armed Gary, how you doing, bud? All right. How you doing? Doing great. Uh, nice to hear from you. Good. Thanks. Uh, how, you, how you been? Um... It's been crazy, man. We wouldn't believe it. Yeah, no. With you, we would. We would believe it. I want to catch Excuse up with me. You. I'm racist. All okay, right. please stop it. <laughs> Who's playing that? She just wanted to clarify that to all Gary. Right. Gary, I'm... do you anything about Allie admitting all this stuff? Oh. I can't believe it. All right. What? Thank you, Gary. <laughs> one arm, Gary. Hold Sorry. on. I, w- I want to catch up with you, but there's a lot of people on the phone that want to play for Allie's money, okay? Okay. All right. That's why. On. Oh, you're actually calling to play Allie Knows the News? Yeah. Man, I feel like we should get You get... down that bad? You got to get 100 bucks? Pay someone back? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm down. I'm down. God, I feel like we should give Gary a shot. I feel bad. Yeah, always... Hell yeah. All right. I know, huh? <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> That's Gary, a good wow. point. Gary, I, I, was, I feel bad for everyone else on the phone, but you did uh, call it like a regular person. You just happened to get through. Uh, well, would you well, like... Hold on not a like a regular if person. I'm going to potentially he's give one arm Gary but... $100, I need to know what he's going to spend it on. Because hey, last but... time he made money, he just, he, I think he owed money for his hotel room. Got right. money at a gas station and then just bet it all at the casino and lost it in five minutes. Right. Well, he had to burn his boat. He had to light his boat on fire to get insurance money or something. Yes. Right, Gary? Yeah. How'd that turn out? Yeah. I had to. Yeah, I wouldn't admit that, by the way. <laughs> it's going to come back to bite oh, you okay. in the Okay, I'm not. Uh, Gary, uh, what do you need the $100 for? Um, I don't need it. Okay, oh. so there you go. All right. Huh. So, um, sh- so you let's wanna... give it to somebody who needs it. Hold, Gary, hold on. I do want to catch up with you. It's been a while. Uh, let's go ahead and let a, a real contestant have a chat. Oh, come on. I-, I love Gary. I mean, I'd like to let the pl- the contestant play, and then we could still do the same round with Gary. I still think he would only get two right, maybe. Yeah, I agree. We go to Northridge, California. We say good morning to Omar. Good morning, Omar. Hey, good morning. Sweet dibs. Sweet, Sweet dibs. dibs. Five questions here. It uh, could be worth $100 for you. Allie's going to go ahead and leave the K-Rock Studios. Get into your round. Uh, you're more than welcome to play along. If you're listening or just waking up right now, perhaps let's see how you would have scored battling Allie for her own $100. Your round of Allie Knows the News. Omar starts right now. Allie Knows the News. Um, this fast food restaurant has sent a cease and desist letter to a restaurant in San Diego for copying quite a few of their menu item names, which... In fast- and out. Question number two. Ring doorbell. 
The Ring doorbell and Ring light camera system is offering users $100,000 for any videos that show this. What are they looking for? Those. Qu- wow. Question three. The wife of drummer Tommy Lee was caught on security video doing what? Saving her dog. Question number four. Wow. Chick-fil-A has now started selling this as a side as opposed to what it used to be, which was just a sandwich topping. What what can you now buy on the side as a side dish? As a topping? Uh, shoot. Yeah, I know they used to sell their sauce. Uh, crap. Crap? Good I'm guess. I'm not sure. I'm going to go. <laughs> Question number five. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> a Santa Monica man has made this to deter, to deter the homeless. He's come up with a device uh, to try to keep the homeless away. What is it? Uh, like a sound machine, like a chirping machine okay. thing. Okay, this guy is uh, yeah, well on point. Done. Damn, dude, you were confident, quick, and accurate with a lot of your answers. We'll score it together. Let's bring Allie in, and let's see how you do. Send Allie in. She has no idea what's going on. We got through that very quickly. Just want to see how Gary would have done. Uh, hold on one second, uh, Omar. Hey, Gary, uh, how many of those would you have gotten right, just out of curiosity? Um, I, I wouldn't have got any of them right. Okay, that's what I would, that's what I would have thought. Uh-huh. All right, hold on, Gary. We'll get back to you in a moment. All right, Al, you're battling Omar. Five questions. He just did uh, his round. Let's see how you do and score together. Question number one. A, uh, this fast food restaurant is suing a restaurant in San Diego for copying quite a few of their menu item names. Oh, I believe that would be in and out in and out Apparently, there's a restaurant that's been doing a double-double with animal fries, and uh, in and out does not stand for being copycatted, so they are suing. That is correct. And uh, Omar got that as well. It's tied up 1-1. We go to question number two. Ring doorbell slash ring floodlight camera, et cetera, is offering users $100,000 for any videos that show this. Oh, they want spooky ghosts. That's right. If you can capture a ghost or some sort of a ghost being on your footage, they will give you $100,000 which I guess means they are not giving you $100,000. But okay, he got that as well. I think they did this last year, and then it was just a bunch of teenagers in bedsheets. Cool. Go to question number three. I would demand my money. Question three. Uh, The wife of drummer Tommy Lee was caught on security video doing what? Oh, saving her dog from a coyote. That is correct. What a video. Omar got that as well. 3-3. We go to question number four. Chick-fil-A is now selling this item as a side dish as opposed to what it originally was, which was just a sandwich topping. I don't know anything about Chick-fil-A. Can you can you repeat? They're selling a new side dish now that you can buy as a side dish as opposed to just a topping, which is what it once was. Fried pickles. Decent guess. The pimento cheese. Oh. People are demanding it. They're buying it by the cup loads. They're just buying a cup of cheese. Sounds good. I'll be going over there later. (laughs) Uh, we go to question number five. He didn't get that either, so it's still tied up with one question left. A homeless man, excuse me, a Santa Monica man, has made this to deter the homeless. A blue chirper. Uh, a chirping device. He got that as well. Omar, wow. got, he a great round. Four out of five, but Ali, unfortunately, also got four out of five, which means uh, you could not have played the tiebreaker that tiebreaker comes from Gary. Go on, Gary. Gary will ask one question. It's a tiebreaker question. Whoever gets it right. We'll win this, and you could get $100. Go ahead, Gary. Any question all right, at all? let's do it. Go ahead, Gary. Any questions? Yep. <laughs> I can't, I think I, I can't I, handle it. I can't handle it. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Klein, ask Gary any of, the four, any of the four questions or five questions that we already asked. All right. no, if he yeah. gets it right, I will give up the money. Well, uh, here's how we'll de- determine this tie. Omar, I'm going to ask Gary all these questions we just went over. He heard the answers. He's been on hold the whole time. How many will he get right? Uh, I'm going to say, like, one, I hope. Okay, (laughs) Ali, Ali, how many will he get right? Zero. You think zero. Here we go. Gary, question number one. (laughs) A a fast food restaurant is suing a restaurant in San Diego for stealing some of their uh, menu item names. Which fast food restaurant is suing the restaurant in San Diego? (laughs) McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God damn it. Off to a bad start. <laughs> Question number two. Uh, ring doorbell slash ring floodlight cam is offering $100,000 to anyone that can provide videos of what? Um, dinosaurs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Great. Yeah. Question <laughs> number three. He's got none right Thanks so for far. It up. Question number three. The wife of drummer Tommy Lee was caught on security video doing what? Um, jacking off. Okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is question number four. He's just got to get one right for this guy to win $100. Uh, question four. Chick fil A is now selling this item as a side dish, which used to just be a sandwich topping, and now they're offering it as a side dish you can order there. What is it? Uh, s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> sandwiches. Yeah. And finally, hamburger <laughs> topping, yeah. It all, it all comes down to this. A Santa Monica man has made this to deter the homeless. What is it? A big box is this really loud. Oh my god. Say what? Say what? Right? Say what? The box is loud. I'm going to accept loud. that. Oh, my God. I'm going to accept oh that. Oh, my God. Omar, you said he'd get one. He got one, kind of. Yeah. Congratulations. You're you getting a hundred bucks of Ali's yeah. money. There we go. Oh, Gary. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Hey, you're Thank welcome. Thank you. You didn't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what an adventurous way to start the show. What today. a plot twist. Good job, Omar. Man, Al, you got to pay the people. Thank you. Al's got to pay the people. Yeah. What a way to start the show. Omar, thank you for joining us this morning. Gary, always good to catch up with you. Thanks for watching some of our radio show. We've got to get these cameras back to Best Buy before the 30 days runs out. So in the meantime, you can check out our radio show, which is available to listen to every day live on K Rock or the podcast. Yes, if you download and subscribe to the podcast, you can save a morning show in need. That's us. We're very much in need. We're thirsty. There's trap.